Good with it. Check. Double checking. Nothing. Radio silence. Just how I like it. God, Lee. God. Check two, check three. I'm real quiet. I think I hear a little something. If I turn me up. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm real, real faint. All right, this is me a little better. Can I get a little more, please? I'm, I hear it. I'm there. A little bit more. Bl uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm good with that. That makes me happy. Right now, I'm two lines down from full pull on this thing. Oh, it's going to be, yeah, it'll be hectic. I'm good with it. Okay, I'm on his monitor. Just, he said it. I don't blame you even a little. <laughs> Tight. <laughs> Thanks, homie.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the greatest short track motorcycle racing in North America here with Flat Out Friday and the One Motorcycle Show. My name is Micah Kranz. With me is the ever popular princess of dirt track racing, Miss Chatty Maddie. Pleasure to have you out here today. And thank you for joining us on this epic first inaugural race here in Portland, Oregon. Chatty, are you excited for tonight's festivities? Oh my gosh, Micah, you are making me blush. Man, welcome to Flat Out Friday, everybody. Let's make some noise. Welcome to Flat Out Friday. Now, for those of you who thought you have already had the best day of your life, I don't care if you've gotten married, I don't care if you've had a kid, the best day of your life is today. Micah, tell them a little bit about it. It's gonna be awesome. We have a ton of classes. I also wanna give a shout out to the best DJ in the land, DJ Kevin down on the ones and twos, down in the middle area. We're pumped to have him out here playing the best songs possible. But we have an entire full slat of racing coming up for you today, all the way from Stay Six over to Seniors, Vintage, 50cc, Booney Bike, and of course, Pro and Hooligan, what everybody came to see. There is money on the line. There is pride on the line. And as you can hear, there are engines ready to race. It is gonna be an amazing time here at the Expo Center. Thank you so much to everybody for coming out. Thank you, Flat Out Friday, all the way from Milwaukee to our second favorite place, which is our home here in Portland, Oregon. And of course, all weekend we have stuff going down. The One Motorcycle Show happening Saturday and Sunday. Some amazing sponsors, some amazing uh, exhibitions, and more importantly, the best motorcycle show happening all of the world is right here. You can hear the engines are getting started up. We've got a whole day, full, night full of racing, and we're pumped. If you could do us a favor, get on your social media channels. Tell the people we are live on YouTube. Share, subscribe, talk a little bit of shit. I don't care. Get out there. We want to know that you're watching. We want to know you're having a good time. We want to know your thoughts on motorcycle racing on this very unique indoor, no dirt racetrack. I am pumped to get this done. Chatty, I think it's almost time for, uh, I'm not gonna lie, we weren't able to find anyone to sing the national anthem this weekend. Uh, I, I hate to put you on the spot. Is there any chance you'd be able to help us out with uh, I don't know. Sing, singing the greatest song ever written? I guess we could. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are able, please stand. Gentlemen, ladies, without hesitation, please remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem.
Chatty Matty, that was absolutely incredible. That's a sorry to put you on the spot, but that was better than any Leanne Rhymes national anthem I have ever heard sung in all of my days. Thank you so much for getting Flat Out Friday done and started the way we like to do it, and that is with a party. DJ Kevin on the ones and twos mixing the best music. And again, we are going to have so much fun. We've got a whole bunch of classes of racing, kids from four years old to people above 70 years of age throwing legs over a motorcycle, ready to race this evening. We've got to pay a couple bills. We're going to throw it to our sponsors. We'll be right back after this. I mean, crazy thing about Super Hooligan is like its evolution. Let's race these hand-built motorcycles. They don't have fairings and they go 150 mile an hour. When it comes to racing, there's always this thing inside you that pushes you. And some people have it and some people don't. And when you have it, there's just like a hand in the middle of your back pushing you faster and faster, harder and harder. It's forever pushing the limits. It's just something you're chasing all the time. It's a gladiator sport. It's that mentality. You know, Indians been a supporter of those bad decisions since they started. Hey, what's up, Flat Out Friday? It's Tom here with the Indian Motorcycle Race Team. I just want to say thank you for supporting Flat Out Friday. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Riverside down, have some fun.
and our 50-year-old class, the Mad Dogs, starting us off here at our Flat Out Friday here in Portland, Oregon. Can I get a little bit of noise for the plus 50 class? The Mad Dogs, the coolest dads and uncles and grandpas you'll ever see in the entire world, ready to do some elbow banging action here at Flat Out Friday and the One Motorcycle Show. That is our first race of the evening. We have a slew of racing coming up behind us. Like everybody's favorites, the Booney Bike Class. Listen, flat track racing is about one thing, and that is being user friendly. We want you to be here next year. If you're looking at this class and you think, I'm better than the majority of these people, put up or shut up. Get yourself one of these motorcycles, grab one from Facebook Marketplace. I'm sure your uncle has one sitting in his garage. Put one of those Harbor Freight engines inside of it, and we want to see you race this class. The Booney Bikes, they are a staple here at Flat Out Friday. One of the most entertaining classes you will ever see. For less than $500, you could have an absolute race-ready machine. Our friend Matt Stout at Stout Bikes, Bad Stout Booney Bikes would love to help you out, get you situated in one of these. But this is what it's all about, not taking yourself too seriously. There's a ton of race classes out there with all the neon and sponsors you want, but this is about having fun. This is about participating, and we're off. Here comes Booney Bike class number one, and all the way from dirty West Dallas, Wisconsin, is Mikey Dean going way out there, way in front of everybody on one of those stout Booney bikes I was telling you about. He's gonna be racing the hooligan class as well this weekend, but now, he is gonna ride the Bronco around turn number three and four down the start finish line into turn one and turn two. He's got quite an amazing line. And in second place is a female. That's right. Anybody can do this, any, any ethnicity, any sex. If you can twist a throttle, you can be in this class. Mikey Dean leading the way here in the Booney Bike first off qualifying races. This is awesome to see. Those brand new leathers looking great. Back down to turn three and turn four. Our flag man keeping wonderful eye over what's going on. This is awesome. Mikey Dean way out in front. Milwaukee stand on up. He had his truck and trailer driven over 30 hours to be out here this weekend. The white flag is out. All the way from dirty West Dallas is Mikey Dean. A couple of more corners, putting that metal shoe to the ground. How about a little bit of noise, Portland? Mikey Dean winning Booney Bike qualifying race number one. Morgan in third place. This is awesome. What an amazing class. Again, no excuses. You could be here racing with us at Flat Out Friday. All you have to do is get one of these things, 12-inch wheels. It's got to be a pull start. It can kind of have suspension, kind of not have suspension. This is a user-friendly race course. We'd love to have you guys out here. That is just a stock engine. There is nothing special about that thing. It had a sidecar attached to it a little bit earlier, and he ripped the sidecar off, jumped on that thing, and he raced it. Now for round number two of the Booney Bike Challenge, here at beautiful Flat Out Friday in Portland, Oregon. We are so excited to have you out here again. Tell your friends on social media. We have a live YouTube happening right now. Get on the subscribe button. We want to make sure you see all of the races all the fun that we have out here. Are there people racing two up just for fun? Yes. Now, normally in racing, there's rules. Not really our style here at Flat Out Friday. If it's fun, it counts. You want to ride two up, we're going to let you do it. Uh, we're going to see what happens on that light. <coughs> the flag man says, nope, let him race. That works for me. We got a battle for the lead happening. The takeover. Look at the tandem riders just getting in the way. That is excellent. It's, look, there's actually two seats on that thing. It's a stretch frame. That's awesome. 
If you're one of them guys that knows how to weld, there's no excuses for you to not be in this class. You don't even gotta be good, you just gotta wanna play. And that's what this is about. Leader in the white helmet currently up in first place. There he is. That leg way overside. Also looks like one of those stout boonies. Again, if you don't want to build it, we can get you into the class real quick. According to his number plate, he's sponsored by the company of beer. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Rounding the bend. <coughs> Our flag man. Looks like he has the white flag out. We'll see if he gives it this time. Nope, yet another lap. Two laps remaining here in the Boonie Bike Challenge. Shout out to Flat Out Friday, the one motorcycle show. The, the white flag is out for our leader as he laps the tandem Boonie Bike. This is fantastic. There you go. Just two more people to pass, kind of, takes the inside. And our winner of heat number two of the Booney Bikes, the guy sponsored by Beer. Shout out Beer. That works for us. Look at our flag person getting jiggy with it. Yeah. DJ Kevin setting the mood, and the flag guy is feeling all of it. That's what we like to see. We've got plenty of racing left. Please get on social media. Tell your friends the best thing on YouTube right now is Flat Out Friday and the One Motorcycle Show. We're doing indoor flat track motorcycle racing here in Portland, Oregon. We gotta pay some more bills. We'll be back right, back right after this sponsor message. My name is Jeremy Prock. I'm with Mama Tried and Flat Out Friday in Milwaukee. Wow, what a good looking crowd. You look great. Thank you so much for coming out to this event. If you'd like to be in the know, please subscribe to our podcast, our Mama Tried Flat Out Friday podcast. Pull out your phones and scan this thing. We are back here in Portland, Oregon. And as you can see, we've got the hungriest class so far. Watching the light, we got a wheelie off the start. Lots and lots of leaning into turn one and two. Our flag man says, yep, let's keep them racing. This is our pro class doing our dash for cash. The winner's gonna walk away with a pocket full of money. In the lead is a long hair. Keenan Duncan on lap number two. One lap to go. One lap to go from our professionals. Around turn three and turn four, our professional dash for cash. Our winner, Kenan Duncan, taking home a little bit of money to put some fuel in the tank. Maybe get the van washed. We'll see what he does with that prize money. But there it is, some of the fastest laps we've seen so far. Just over nine seconds here on our circle track. Little bit of Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper sprayed in the corners. The rest of it is just hopes and dreams for you to keep those tires connected to that uber slippery surface. Kenan Duncan didn't even get the fastest lap able to hold off all the hunger behind him. That's what we like to see. Coming up next is gonna be our hooligan classes. Some of our fastest qualifiers getting put up for another dash for cash. The winner taking home again a whole bunch of money and bragging rights here at Flat Out Friday on the West Coast. Portland, thank you so much for bringing us, thank you so much for bringing us out here, treating us like family. We have had nothing but great times the entire time. We've been out in Portland. 
But our next race, Hooligan, Dash for Cash. We took the four fastest qualifiers. We're going to give them a couple of laps. The winner taking them a pocket full of money. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Dash for Cash currently lining up the winner of this race, bragging rights, a couple of hundred dollars, and more importantly, more track time. Our two most heated classes this weekend are going to be Pro and this right here, the Hooligans. Grab yourself any sort of motorcycle, get a 750 and go from there. Here we go. Race is on. Captain America leading up after lap number one. Money is on the line. Can you keep it together? You can see suspension. You wouldn't think suspension would be a big deal on a hard concrete surface, but getting that power to the rear wheel is everything. And the riders that put it together are gonna be victorious this weekend. One lap to go. Around three and four, here is our winner. Hooligan dash for cash live and in person here on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends it's on the YouTube. We would love to see all the comments. Say something funny, say something witty. More importantly, tell your friends. Yeah, if you got a subscription left, I know it costs you absolutely nothing, but get on to it. Well, we're gonna pay some more bills. On to commercial, be back with you shortly. At Indian Motorcycle, we challenge ourselves every day to live up to the trailblazing spirit of our founders. We're proud to share our passion with others as we realize we're all part of something bigger. We're here to inspire the next generation of riders. If you're on two wheels, you're with us. Our best days are still ahead. Indian Motorcycle, make the first move. Hey guys, what's up? Jared Mees here, Indian Motorcycle Flat Track Champion. Just wanted to thank you all for coming out to the Flat Out Friday and hope you all have a good time.
are back here. Welcome everybody at YouTube land and of course the people here you're live and in person in Portland, Oregon. Did I really hear correctly our flag man? <laughs> Wreck the hammy getting so excited about throwing those flags out there. Anyway, enough about that. We have a pretty special next class happening. Chatty Maddie, can you tell us what we have to look forward to? This is easily my favorite class of Flat Up Riding. This is our 50cc motorcycle riders, and they are under the age or around the age of eight or six or maybe even younger. And these kids have got just massive skills. You're going to see them in just a little bit, Micah. Were you riding motorcycles at that age? No, I was disrespecting my parents and trying to stay up as late as possible, which is probably what we can expect here. What about you, Chatty? You know, I, I try to keep it innocent a little bit, Micah, but I, you know what? I could not do this when I was that age. No freaking way. I would definitely fall over, but these kids are going to grip and rip. This track is definitely getting set up for success here tonight at Flat Out Friday here in Portland, Oregon. The track is getting really good and sticky, and then here in one and two, it's just very, very smooth, which is what the riders like. Very interesting. Thank you for that awesome analysis, Chatty Maddie. You are absolutely our eyes on the floor. And I'm telling you, like you said, this next group, you can always tell the attitude of the kids. If they get detention, if they don't really listen to their parents, you know what I mean? If they don't like to do homework, chances are they're going to be excellent flat track racers. Absolutely. And these are the future of our sport here at Flat Out Friday. These kids set the tone of the next generation of riders. What do you think, Chatty? If your son or daughter wanted to race 50cc someday, would you let it happen? I would absolutely let it happen, but I don't think you need to put a camera on me. I would be a mess. Micah, what would, would you let your kid drive it? Absolutely, without a doubt, yes. Without a doubt. Yes. How, how about a little bit of noise, Portland? Are you ready to see the next generation shred on this flat track course? 50cc racing is coming up next. Look at our flag, man. Chatty, what did you do to our flag person? Oh my goodness. His name is Robert Lawrence. Is he, is he okay? We'll get a safety check on him. Clearly willing to work through the pain like a man playing varsity football is our flag man. Robert Lawrence taking a beating out there. All right, 50cc class is on the line. All of these motorcycles, small combustible engines, and we got racing. What do you think, Portland? Yell at your favorite one. Scream at him. Our flag man says, whatever, let him race. Let the kids race. Way to go, Robert Lawrence. A flag, look at, he's lost a little pep in his step, but he's trying. 50 CC is on the course. Look at that, elbow up, foot to the ground, pinning that thing down the straightaway into turn three and four. Is young number seven. Look at this kid, shredding, cranking the throttle, spitting a little bit of smoke because it adds character. Robert Lawrence, ready to give the guys two laps to go. Two laps to go. We got one lap. Can I get some noise? Portland, Oregon, yell at those children. Oh, look at them, elbows tucked. And our winner of the 50cc class. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that was amazing racing. Again, Flat Out Friday is all about it. I think our, our man in charge, Jeremy Prox, said it best, trying to put a square peg through a round hole. Well, anything can race as long as you have fun, as long as it's a good time. We're going to let that happen. But it looks like our good friend Chatty Maddie has wrangled one of the 50cc riders and wants to say a couple words. We'll let him get his helmet off. But Chatty, I'd like to know what this young man has to say about winning his first race ever yeah, at race Flat fans. Out Friday. Yeah, race fans, when he takes his helmet off, I want you to make as much noise as you can. Portland, make some noise. That's, pr that's pretty cool, right? So first off, you got to tell all of these fans your name and where you're from. I'm Dash Seamers, 
and I'm from Estacada. All right, let's go. Now, what's it like taking a couple laps around here at Flat Out Friday? Is this your first asphalt race with your bike? Yeah. And you brought it home, right? Yeah, this is my first time at this track. And you took it home, race fans. Make some noise, kid. Give him a wave. He brought it home here at Flat Out Friday. Micah, this kid is going places. What a memory. I can't believe he could pronounce the zone city name. That was absolutely a tongue twister to get it started. How about a little bit of noise for him as he rides off his first professional win here at Flat Out Friday, 50cc class, making it happen. All right, we're gonna go back to our friends at commercials, be with you right after this. want to disconnect and detach from work and, and all of the other stressors that life throws at you, once you get out there, everything tends to fall away. Like we said, we are in all facets of racing, and we are absolute realists in the game of racing in general, and that is that the future is gonna be electric motorcycles. Whether you like it or not, these are taking over the streets, and you know what we wanna do? Race them. So we have an open electric class. It can be absolutely anything as long as it's electric, and as you can see, we've got five human beings on the line ready to race that class here at Flat Out Friday. I see some sort of Suron, some sort of homemade contraptions, my grandmother's e-bike, where she gets gro groceries with. And we got wheelies off the line. Here we go. Open electric class here at Flat Out Friday. And it is an absolute trip. They all sound like weed whackers for the most part. But they are putting a lot of torque to the ground. No transmission, just instant power from beginning to end. We have somebody down, two riders. It is absolutely a bloodbath out there. <laughs> oh, my grandma's e-bike. She's gonna need that back. He's too busy celebrating while being lapped on the course. Open electric currently on the grounds at the Flat Out Friday, the one motorcycle show. Circle track racing at the Expo Center here in Portland, Oregon. We got a couple of laps left. Look how old those racing leathers are. Do you know where you can find pink Axo pants? Nowhere. eBay, possibly. Well, the past meets the future here at the One Motorcycle Show and Flat Out Friday. Looks like two laps remaining for our open electric class. Again, this is a user-friendly race series. You can buy a day pass and race with us next year. We'd love to have you. We'll be in Milwaukee at the beginning of the year next year. But come join us. If you're talking a bunch of crap saying you're faster than this, we want to see it. You have an open invite. And our winner here in Open Electric, some sort of ponytailed man. That's the best way to describe him. A man with a ponytail with pink pants riding an electric bike. The future is weird, a little awkward. Not status quo, but hey, you did it. You won a class. Amazing stuff. I'd like to give a big shout out to some of our sponsors today. Thank you, Progressive Motorcycle Insurance, for doing what you guys have done and keeping all of our insurance needs nice and low. Thank you, Indian Motorcycle. I want to remind you, you can take a demo ride at the, Moto, at the One Moto Show on Saturday and Sunday. They've got an FTR. You can demo it all day long. Big shout out to Indian Motorcycles for help keeping the lights on and making this happen. Chatty Maddie, you having a good time down there? What's the aura like on the infield? Y'all, you are missing the party down here in the infield, Micah. We just play no hands. That song goes out to my friend Gracie watching live at home back in Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. But the vibes here at Flat Out Friday are immaculate. Fans, are you having a good time here tonight? 
Okay, try that one more time. I know you're having a little bit more fun than that. Are you guys having a good time here tonight? Okay, well, Micah, they're working on it. We might have to get them louder a little bit later. Chatty Maddie, you are an absolute national treasure. Thank you so much for keeping the vibes high on the infield. Shout out to my DJ, DJ Kevin, playing the best mix you possibly could have in the middle of the floor. Looks like we have the ladies class coming up next. Open women. I'd like to give a shout out to Kathy Duffy, 71 years old. It's her birthday today, all the way from Maryland. You know what's not close? Maryland. Thank you so much for coming, Kathy Duffy. I heard you're an amazing pit crew. But right now, ladies, you have no excuses. We can get you out there. You can ride. I hate to bring this up, but turns out you don't even need two arms to race. Just get out there and have fun. We want to see you. We have a class for you. Morgan over in second place. That's a Milwaukee native, the Maryland racer. Currently in top three. And these ladies, for the most part, build these motorcycles as well. There's no excuses as to why you cannot get out here. Open women's class currently on the course. Our flag man nursing a sprained ankle. Goodness gracious. It is absolute carnage out there on the course. The race is for the lead. Lots of pressure on number two. Two laps left, two laps remaining. McKenna in first place, Morgan in second, Nian in third place, all the way from Maryland. White flag is out. We've got some fast laps, 11 seconds from these ladies. They are nothing to shake a stick at whatsoever, holding their own here at Flat Out Friday in Portland. The checkered flag is out. We got ourselves a winner. Can I get some noise for the ladies? Open women. Big shout out to all of our fans out here. It is standing room only. Right here, let's take a look at our scoreboard. Like I said, we had 11 second, 11 second laps. That is very, very fast. Literally just Dr. Pepper and Dreams are keeping those back tires onto the ground. Excellent racing from our open women. Looking forward to have you guys again. And it's time for some more of the children. Can I get some noise for the kids out there? 65cc racing, making their way up onto the course. As you can see, all shapes, all sizes. If you can twist a throttle, we want you here and racing with us at Flat Out Friday. It's not about winning or losing, it's about playing the game, and that is what Flat Out Friday is all about. Thank you everyone for coming to support. Look at that, we got a female out there racing 65. Can I get some noise for her, please? There you go. Racing with the boys is tough, only the strongest females can do it. We're pumped to have her out here. This is a 65cc class. Watch the light. And they're off. Wheelies off the line. We've got a race for first place. Trying the outside line. That is a hard way to get around him. Carter overtakes him. Wow, what a pass. Jake Whedon dropping down to second place. Carter Olmstead saying, see you later. Blasts his way around the track, elbow high, foot to the ground, looking for any sort of traction he can find to help keep himself upright in the lead. Wow, he took the longest way around Jake Whedon. That was a fantastic pass. 
This is the future of motorcycles. If we don't replenish, our amazing sport goes away. Encourage the children, get them on motorcycles, get them on those electric bikes and say, have a bunch of fun. We love them out here. Oh, we got a pass for first around turn number three, lap traffic. And the greatest racing of the night happening from our 65cc. Unreal. White flag is out, here we go. Not giving up at all is Jake Wheaton knocking on the door, looking for the inch he can take. Carter makes any mistakes, he'll get pounced on and the checkered flag is out. Let me hear you scream for him, 65 cc. Thank you, Portland. We could not thank you enough for supporting us here at Flat Out Friday. The greatest indoor motorcycle racing on the planet. Our friend Chatty Maddie is down there. We're gonna let the young man take his helmet off. Chatty, would you mind getting a couple of words with our race winner, please? Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna let him take his helmet off. Man, what a ripper. When he takes his helmet off once more, Portland makes some noise for Carter Olsen. Now, most riders will tell you that was kind of an unconventional way to take the lead on the high side. You've got some guts to kind of pin it. What was it like? It's scary. <laughs> it's scary? I, I, would, I would probably agree, but, and then lap traffic. You kind of saw the lap traffic and somebody else tried to sneak under you and you did it again. You pinned it and you went on the high side. Once again, how was that, what does that feel like as a rider? It feels good, but then sometimes it gets really scary. Yeah, well, man, you've got some guts, kid. Any people you want to thank? Be speechless. Anybody you want to thank? Um, I want to thank my mom and dad and then my grandma for buying this bike for me. There you go, kid. Make some noise. Carter Olsen gripping and ripping it. He's telling the pros how it's done on the high side. Congratulations, Carter. Micah, back up to you. Excellent work per usual, Chatty Maddie. I think you put the fear of God in that young man. It was scary. It's the perfect way to describe what just happened to that kid. Oh, pulling a little power wheelie. I'd like to remind you, we have a kids race coming up during our intermission just before. If you like the kids racing, don't go anywhere. We've got an amazing group of individuals ready to come out and show their stuff in the kids race. But now, it's time for some open amateur racing. The young man in the Milwaukee Bucks basketball jersey all the way from Brazil Again, this racing takes all shapes, all sizes, all countries here to show their stuff and what it has to offer. Again, these motorcycles, for the most part, all custom built, all built in garages, ready for this exact moment. We're gonna give them a couple laps, watch the light. Racing is on. Whoa. Open amateur currently on the course. We got green flag racing. Any bike, any style, you wanna, you're willing to put it on that track. We wanna see it race. It's all about getting laps. Participation is more of a reward than winning. We wanna see you out there racing with us here at Flat Out Friday. Steady on the outside. A couple of laps to go, says our very injured flag person. One lap left here in open amateur. And out comes our checkered flag. How about a little bit of noise for our winner, Kyle Ragsdale. Pulling 10 second laps here in open amateur, taking the win at Flat Out Friday.
big shout out to some more of our sponsors. Revit, they have a custom Italian race suit brand called Taylor Tech, and they're running a leather race suit design contest until April 21st. Go online, play with leathers, colors, patterns, and updated logos and patches to make your own design. If your entry is selected, you'll win your dream race suit made to your custom measurements straight from Italy. Currently on the course, open amateur, heat number two. We're gonna have a final later on this evening. We gotta get all the fellas and ladies sorted out to see where they will line up. Again, open amateur, heat number two, taking the line here with Flat Out Friday and the one motorcycle race. We got them lined up, watch the light and they're off. We've got elbows banging, handlebars turning. Side by side action into lane three and four. One lap done. Look at the back wheel chatter. Doing everything it can to find a little bit of grip. We're gonna get all of our safety personnel over there to make sure, as you can see, about the worst thing that can happen is something to leak onto the course. And that thing just bowel released all over the course. Turn number three is very exciting to say the least. But we, yeah, make a little bit of noise. The rider's back up in the air. The homie Chuck took a little bit of a digger. Nice to see you back on two legs, sir. And now, four guys staring at a puddle. That's what we're gonna have happen for like a while. All right, Chatty, I wanna know what's going on in the course. What views do you have? Yeah, so something unique about flat track racing is whenever there's liquid on the track, there's definitely a little bit of a spill there. And what happens with the flat track is that we want that grippiness. We want that level of stickiness. I'm trying to find my cameraman, I promise. But. You know, when we have liquid on the ground, we have to clean it up because there becomes a hole in the track where it's not tacky, which will cause riders to slip, Micah. So this is why we gotta take some time and patch up that hole, Micah. I mean, like you said, Chatty, if there's a hole in that track, it's gonna be crazy. Do we have anything to put more rubber down on the track? Do we have other options? Micah, I gotta be honest, I was finding the cameraman. So, what'd you ask? <laughs> Sounds good to us. We are gonna take a quick commercial break, get this track cleared up, and come back with more Flat Out Friday racing. We fight for the rights of riders every day. We give back millions to support the motorcycle community because we are riders, and motorcycle law is all we do. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, don't fight the insurance companies with just any lawyer. Call 1-800-4-BIKERS. We ride, we care, we win. If you go down, call Russ Brown. Motorcycle attorneys.
Ice fans, make some noise. Who wants a free T-shirt? Y'all are clearly not getting loud enough. There you go. Oh, you just took out another guy. <laughs> Jerry's on the T-shirt cannon here. We're here at the Portland Expo Center here in Portland, Oregon. And Micah, the action is definitely getting cranked up to an 11. Yeah, 11 is the best way to say it. Do you have any more T-shirts to throw out? People love T-shirts, Chatty Maddie. Yeah, Jerry's working on it. He's loading it back up. So race fans, I yeah, see, there's a guy. There's let's, a guy. Chatty, yes. let's see your arm. My arm? Let's see your arm. Do you throw want me a to throw a T-shirt? Yes. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw a T-shirt. There you go. You don't need a T-shirt cannon when you were born with one attached to your torso. Oh, you got an icon jersey. Those are nice. Yeah, see that cannon? That's custom made by Heather Prox's father. That is who put that cannon together. That is normally shoots potatoes. Today, we shoot out Flat Out Friday and the One Motorcycle Show t-shirts. If you want free stuff, let me hear you scream for it. Let her know your target. Put your chin out there. We want to know you want the free stuff. Chatty Maddie, not bad. That was a great couple of throws. Also, those awesome Icon jerseys I saw you throw out. That's pretty cool. Flat Out Friday with only the best free stuff to give away here in Portland, Oregon. Again, we're just getting a couple of tracks fixes happening. Who wants some more free stuff from the one, the only Chatty Maddie? Let him know. Evan's going to help. The, yeah, give it to a photographer. The guy with computer hands has never thrown anything in his life. There you go. Evan making moves. That man has delicate hands if I've ever seen him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Did he make, of course he can't catch anything. He's too busy putting hair gel. Oh, you know those photographers. Chatty Maddie, tease him a little bit. Who wants a free t-shirt from Chatty Maddie? Scream at her. There you go. Look at these standing room only here at Flat Out Friday. And look at our very high tech, <laughs> our very, very high tech, uh, what would you call that, uh, <laughs> motorcycle moving system? Look at that amazing thing. Chatty Matty, I believe you found a celebrity down there. Maybe you could take a couple of minutes to talk to. Is there anybody down there you could, uh, Learn some questions about the One Motorcycle Show. Absolutely. From. Race fans, make some noise for the One Moto Show guy himself. This is Tor. Man. And a little guy. Hey. That's my boy. That's your boy? No way. Where, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Van. Yeah? And where are you from? Um. From around here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your what's your favorite part about motorcycles? Um, they go fast. That is the right answer, race fans. You have taught him right. But I want to I want to ask a couple of questions here. The One Moto Show, yep. it's it's in town. Can you just give me a little bit of background about what the show is, the history behind yeah. it? The floor is yours. Yeah, you know, we uh, I started the show with uh, some friends back when I was in my twenties and. Uh, you know, we just wanted to throw a good party, and, you know, I stupidly said after the success of that one that we would do it for the next 10 years, and I ended up getting kind of good at putting on the show, and so we figured it'd be a waste to throw all that, you know, effort away, and now we're at 15, and kind of an amazing event that I never even imagined possible, so, uh, you know, thanks for everybody that uh, is here today. I mean, I wouldn't be, the show wouldn't be anything without people to show up, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, give a hand. <laughs> I mean, I, I know there's going to be a couple of first timers at the One Moto Show tomorrow. What's something unique about the One Moto Show that first timers have got to see? Yeah, I mean, the stunt shows are amazing. We've got the Seattle Cossacks, which have been doing their stunt show for the 86 years or something. Uh, and they do all kinds of pyramids and make it, it's really a fun crowd pleaser. We've got the freestyle motocross team uh, doing backflips and wheelies and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, geez, we've got a bunch of great bands, live music, uh, great food. Uh, kind of, you could spend all day there and not even see a quarter of the show. So really it's just, you gotta just spend some time there, you know? Absolutely. Where can we find the One Moto Show anywhere on social media? Yeah, 
Uh, if you guys aren't following us, we're at uh, the number one moto uh, on Instagram, and um, yeah, just Google it if you can't, you know. <laughs> Crazy fans, make some noise one more time for tour. The One Moto Show celebrity here in the house tonight, Micah. We got this guy's got to be lining up with autographs. Yeah, tour is pretty cool. He, as you can see, the man can put together a really awesome motorcycle show, and to get his son out there answering all the right questions, you know it's great. As you can see, we've got all sorts of people on the track trying to clean that oil off. The goal is to not take up any of the rubber surface, but only take up the oil. Not an easy thing to do, and we want to make sure it is as clean as we can possibly get it, because it is absolute pandemonium that there's even a little bit of that slippery surface left on there. So we're going to let them continue to make that happen. They got all the brake cleaner possible to spray all that stuff up. But we're going to go real quick to a couple of commercials and then get back to racing. So check out these commercials from our sponsors. Be back to you very shortly. I mean, crazy thing about Super Hooligan is like its evolution. Let's race these hand-built motorcycles. They don't have fairings and they go 150 mile an hour. When it comes to racing, there's always this thing inside you that pushes you. And some people have it and some people don't. And when you have it, it's just like a hand in the middle of your back pushing you faster and faster, harder and harder. It's forever pushing the limits. It's just something you're chasing all the time. It's a gladiator sport. It's that mentality. You know, Indians have been a supporter of those bad decisions since they started. Hey, what's up, Flat Out Friday? It's Tom here with Indian Motorcycle Race Team. I just want to say thank you for supporting Flat Out Friday. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Riverside Down, have fun.
Kevin's gonna throw a t-shirt. Who wants a t-shirt from DJ Kevin? He'll even kiss it if you want him to. It'll be worth money someday. Right, Micah? Yeah, he's nodding his head. He agrees. <laughs> the best hey if you're sitting in the crowd you want something to do get on our YouTube we are live streaming as you as we speak literally up to the minute we'd love to have you engage not only follow not only like not only subscribe but we want to get you to talk to us. We want to know what your thoughts are. We'll have a real life comment section and we'll ignore all of your suggestions if you put them on our YouTube page right now. The best comment so far, more evil, less Knievel. What happened to the flag man? Robert Lawrence just told me he somehow ruptured his Achilles tendon while flagging a race. That's probably the worst injury we've had so far is from the flag man. Big shout out to our amazing DJ, DJ Kevin. Thank you so much, Chatty, Maddie, for being out there. Come on, let's get on this comment section. Make me laugh, offend me, say something gnarly. I want to know. We want you to participate with us here at Flat Out Friday. We are a user-friendly company, and we want your suggestions. What could we do better? What could we do worse? Do you want us to be more like other race programs? Not a chance. Will never happen. You keep that comment to yourself. But get out there. Get involved. Be part of this amazing thing we call Flat Out Friday. We want you to be a part of this party. Please subscribe to our channel. It would help us immensely. Get yourself a boonie bike. We want to see you out here racing. Ladies, men, it doesn't matter. Kids, children, grandma, grandpa, anybody in your life, we want you to get out here and race with us. Be part of this amazing party we like to bring all over the world. Thank you so much. We've been to Brazil. We've been to Sturgis. We've been arrested in almost all of the lower 48 states. And we want you to help us pay our bail money. Get out there and race with us. Flat out Friday. We want to know the comments. We want to know you're a part of it. We want to hear what you have to say. And then we'll ignore you. It'll be a lot like that. Coming up next, the Stasic Racing. If you liked all the kid races we have so far, wait till you see this. Running on drill batteries are these amazing, amazing little motorcycles. We got a bunch of kids out there ready to happen. But yeah, we'd love to have you get on our channel, get on our YouTube page. There is a live chat happening right now. And we want to know what you think of this awesome racing happening here at Flat Out Friday in beautiful Portland, Oregon at the Portland Expo Center. Let's go, like, subscribe, follow, get on your own social media. Make your friends jealous that you have a, an inkling, you have a clue of the greatest entertainment happening here on Friday night in the digital world, in the analog world. It is right here in Portland, Oregon happening. Big shout out to my DJ. Absolutely ripping out there, DJ Kevin. Amazing. Again, our track crew is almost done picking up all of the oil spilled from that last motorcycle. As you can see, just making sure. And our testing is if an old man falls, we didn't do it well enough. We got to keep cleaning it. That's a perfect litmus test to make this happen. As you can see, we've got some sort of blower that'll do absolutely nothing. We've got some cans 
of brake cleaner. Look, that, there's no way that's helping. Shout out to the new balances, though. Holy cow. Looking good, fashion conscious here at Flat Out Friday. Look at those things. <laughs> He can walk a mile. I couldn't, he could, absolutely. <laughs> Looks like we're getting turn number three cleaned up. All, all of the Where's Waldo jerseys happening. I'd like to give a shout out to my second family in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Everybody watching at Elwood's Bar, we love you. Thank you for all you do with Flat Out Friday. You guys are the homies, you guys are awesome. If you're ever in Milwaukee, get to Water Street, check out Elwood's. Look at the parking lot and know that we do boonie bike races in that parking lot. It is the smallest parking lot you'll ever see, but the homies at Elwoods, thank you for everybody watching out there. Chatty, I'm told you might have somebody you'd like to say thank you to as well. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching live at home from Wisconsin. Want to give a huge shout out to the Rue crew and my family watching live from Green Bay and Elkhart Lake. Thank you so much for your love and support all the way back from Wisconsin. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chatty. Some birthday wishes out there. Matt Iyer, happy birthday to you. Kathy Duffy, 71 years old, supporting the open women's class all the way from Maryland. Oh, Garage Metallica down in Brazil is watching. The homie Chris is out there. There's a bunch of guys from Brazil racing here in Portland, Oregon. It's what they do down there. They build amazing Harley Davidson motorcycles. They have motorcycle shows, and then they come up to the States, and they're absolutely part of the Brotherin. Competition isn't as important as participation is here at Flat Out Friday. You don't have to win to be cool. We just want you in the pits. We want to hear your stories. We want to help you fix your motorcycles and have the most amount of fun you can possibly have ever while racing, and that is right here at Flat Out Friday. Look at, oh, we got all sorts of babies here. You're gonna be racing someday, baby, I guarantee it. Yeah, can you say torque converter? It doesn't matter. It's gonna be fun out here. We got a bunch of racing left. We are just making sure that track is extra clean because up next, we have children under five going to this racetrack, racing in our Stasic Challenge. Look at those adorable little peanuts. They could fit in your pocket. I have a chain wallet bigger than that kid. Again, Stacy coming in hot, coming up next. We wanna get your kids racing. You have no excuses. It's about having fun. It's about being part of the party. Look, he's got a full chest protector. Look at that thing. That kid is ready to race. He's hungry. Hey, if you don't win, I'm taking away your birthday. You understand? No birthday for you if you don't win. Do I have that power? I, I'll try. Anything's possible. Stasic Racing is our next heat. As you can see, all the Where's Waldo shirts, making sure that turn number three and backstretch is as clean as possible. We're gonna pay some more bills, get to our commercial break, and then bring the party going. We'll be back right after this. Motorcycle. We challenge ourselves every day to live up to the trailblazing spirit of our founders. We're proud to share our passion with others as we realize we're all part of something bigger. We're here to inspire the next generation of riders. If you're on two wheels, you're with us. Our best days are still ahead. Indian Motorcycle, make the first move. Hey guys, what's up? Jared Mees here, Indian Motorcycle Flat Track Champion. Just wanted to thank you all for coming out to the Flat Out Friday and hope you all have a good time.
are back here at Flat Out Friday. Again, just getting this track as clean as we possibly can. It's time to send the kids. Let's get them out there to a roaring crowd. Portland, Oregon, scream at the children. It's time for the Stay Sick Racing and an excellent idea, whoever put the kids race after the big oil spill, because if they fall, their bones heal faster than most of the adults. So that's like a really good decision that's being made out there. Perfect. Yeah, because think about it. Like, they're, they have their marrow stronger. They have more time to heal. They don't got to work a job tomorrow. Yeah, let's send the kids out there. They'll check out the back stretch and turn number three, and we'll go from there. Again, the Stay Sick race is up next. This is what's going to make action sports and racing absolutely untouchable. Think about how many ways you can dunk a basketball. Ten? Well, guess how many ways you can jump a bicycle. Eight million. That's what it's about. Turning the tables and making action sports more recognizable. And this is where it comes from. Cool parents getting their kids Stay Sick bicycles and making them race. All right, we end there off. Somebody might have jumped the gun, but, um, you know, they're cool. We'll let it happen. Electric racing at its finest. How's that turn three going? Up, 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 up. Not too shabby. We got green flag racing and a very hurt flag man. He said he ruptured his Achilles heel and he doesn't care. That's my kind of flag man. He needs surgery and he's absolutely ignoring it. We got a main event happening for Stasic after this. We're going to get these guys racing and get some more awesome motorcycles out here at Flat Out Friday to make the moves happen. A couple of laps left. Listen to that instant engagement. Those electric motors turning all of that power into, into miles per hour. There we go. White flag is out for our Stasic race. from white flag right into the checkers. How about some noise for our winner hitting his head <laughs> on the start finish line. Shout out to our flag man, Robert Lawrence, absolutely <laughs> throwing all sorts of cautions. I can see your ankle swelling from here. That can't be a good sign. We <laughs> appreciate you. Goodness gracious. Is that your blood on that checkered flag, sir? Because it looks like it. Is he okay? It doesn't matter. We're going to keep racing here at Flat Out Friday. You guys are amazing. Again, get on social media. We are live streaming on YouTube. There's a live chat happening. I'd like to see you be cunning and say something smart. But here we go, another really cool class. It's the vintage class. All of these motorcycles are old. The fact they're still out there racing is shocking. We've got three heats of the vintage class. Point to your favorite vintage motorcycle as we bring them out onto the floor. Let's see what we got here. Yamaha, Harley Davidson. All right, this is vintage class number one. We've got three classes total. Harley Davidson versus Yamaha is going to be our, this looks kind of like spectator races. Like, you know, Grandpa had a couple too many beers at the bar, and now he wants to race the Yamaha versus his Harley Davidson. That'll work. Put it happen. Put him up there. Vintage class heat race number one. They're on the line, and oh my goodness. We've got power wheelies to get us started. Listen to that engine. That is a thing of beauty. Yamaha out in front. sorts of nerves of steel from number 17X.
Three laps remaining. Two laps remaining. The white flag. Oh, we got two laps remaining as of right now. Two laps to go. One lap out for the Yamaha. And in comes our winner. Almost lapping the entire field. Number 17X. Vintage Heat Race number two. Ready to take on our Flat Out Friday Circle Flat Track course. Getting heat number one off. To make room for number two, Ellis taking the win, guaranteeing himself in the final. Here we go. Yamaha, Suzuki, Harley, I believe, just by sight. We've got them lined up. This is vintage class number two. Don't forget to buy yourself some merchandise. We have limited edition. Flat Out Friday, the one motorcycle merchandise happening at our merch stand. Go check it out. We'd love to have you support those supporting you in this awesome racing. We've got a race here. One lap down. Lots of racing happening out there. Takes a quick look over his shoulder. Flagman says about, about three laps left. Here in our vintage heat racing, heat number two. Two laps left, two laps left. One lap remaining, let him hear you, Portland. We got a race for first place. Stick in his front end and then he takes it. What an amazing one half of a straightaway left. He comes in and breaks hearts, taking away dreams. 161 out of nowhere on the Yamaha. Had about 30 feet and made his presence known. Churchill, unbelievable racing. Holy cow. What a race, what an absolute savage race. All right, everybody, I need you to pay close attention to this race. It's my favorite race in all of racing. It's called the Last Chance Qualifier. If you don't do well in this race, you go home, you are done. This is gonna be the race to watch. Get those phones out. This is where the hunger can be visibly seen. This is awesome. Last chance qualifier here for hooligans. There is money up for grabs in the hooligan class. So this matters. This is a big deal. This is the race you want to watch. Last chance qualifier, hooligan class, watch the light. What a start. All the way from the outside, flagman Jason Robert Lawrence says yes. Let him race, let him race.
some racing happening out there. Last chance qualifier hooligan. Money on the line. Coming from a long way on the outside. Some awesome lap traffic saying get out of the way. Two laps remaining, two laps remaining. One lap to go. And we've got the double checkers out from Robert Lawrence, winning our last chance qualifier, putting himself into the main. Is that young man, big shout out to the track crew for making that awesome cleanup happen. I know it took a little bit of time, but that's what happens. What a great looking race. All righty, folks, we are going to take a brief intermission, but we do have a halftime show. I'd like to remind you, we have merch for sale. Come get your custom one-off shirt for Flat Out Friday and the One Motorcycle Show. You can only buy it here at the race. You want to make sure you walk home with it and not look like everybody else that shops at the mall. Trust me, you're better than that. We want to give it down to our friend Chatty Maddie. I want to have an update on Robert Lawrence, our flag man. Is he going to be able to continue flagging yeah. Flat Out Friday? Holy man, man. This whole Flat Out Friday show has been full of surprises, man. First off, I really want to, are you OK? Like, you were really partying hard there. First off, before anything else, are you good? Tell the people. No, but we will continue on no matter what. I'm here to do a job, and that's what I'm going to complete. Race fans, make some noise, man. This guy is a definition of just commitment, man. And you are putting on one heck of a show here at Flat Out Friday. You are just full of surprises here. Talk a, a little bit about more about what other surprises we're going to see here tonight. Uh, I have a couple different surprises. Alyssa, could you come here? This is something that I've wanted to do for a while, and I just never had the right spot. And I think I'd like to celebrate it with all of you. But um, if I can get it out of my pocket. <laughs> Alyssa, will you marry me? Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for the new couple going to get married. I thought his leg gave out. I wasn't, I'm not kidding. I thought he was done. All right. And one of the staples for our halftime here at Flat Out Friday is one of the most entertaining races you will ever see in your entire life. Let's see if we can bring him out. Under strict parental supervision, it's time for the kids' race. Look at these little whippersnappers as they take to the course, riding the exact same. <laughs> Did he just flinch that adult? That was amazing. That kid's got sass, and I love him for it. Oh, we have adult kids as well. Riding the bicycle built for two. Look at the kids. Look at the children, one of the best races you will see. Thank you so much, Portland, for showing up. It is standing room only here at Flat Out Friday. Not a better looking crowd in all of motorsports happening than right here in Portland, Oregon. Shout out to all of our sponsors for making this happen. The kids' race is upon us. 
Let's get them all out there. Oh, look at this little peanut. Up, 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 up. We're going to teach you the rules, ma'am. You're going to stay on that line till you see a flag, and then you can race them. Look at that kid. That is awesome. Eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger. They are lined up. Our flagger is getting themselves ready, and everybody's off. Can I get some noise for the kids, Portland? Let them know you love them. Yeah, look at her shredding. Cranking down the front stretch. Yeah, look at all the kids. We got a little Stasic out there. There you go. He'll figure it out. Dad, kind of filming, kind of being a dad. He'll figure it out eventually. Our tandem people being terrible at riding tandems. Look at the cute one. Oh, she's adorable. She's got a little basket. The white flag is out. Yeah. Look at that guy. What a troublemaker he is. Full face helmet. Not a care in the world. Thinking about graham crackers. Get a kid. The checkered flag is out. Can I get some noise for the kids race? What do you think? Portland, Oregon of the children. Nice. Yeah, let's cheer her on as she crosses the start finish line. Yeah. You got it. Big checkered flag. Excellent work. You did awesome. Now, Chatty Maddie, do not scare the children this time. But is there any chance you could find someone that's willing to talk to you? Whoa. Nope, she's scared of you. Nope, that's, she's scared of me. I, I, hey, I don't I blame one. her. Stranger yeah. danger. Absolutely. Chatty, it looks like you've cornered one of the kids. Is it possible for you to get a microphone interview? Yeah, I think I got one. Say your name super duper loud, and where are you from? <laughs> That's your brother? Yeah. What's your name? My name. What was it? Slater. All right, Portland, make some noise for Slater. Portland, Oregon's finest kids here in the house tonight. You know, Micah, the kid is like, I don't even know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. Micah, this, this is going to get nuts. Let's, let's turn it up another notch. Let's go to the relay race. What? You want to do a what? It's called a, a relay race. Sometimes it's referred to like a late for church race. Have you heard of it, Micah? Have you heard of it? I've not heard of it, but I'm very interested in what this is. Big shout out to Icon. I see a bunch of kids getting lined up with a whole bunch of free Icon stuff. We can't thank you enough for that. All right. Hey, we're doing another kids race, an unsanctioned kids race. These are the ones that Clearly, we weren't ready for, but we're going to put another kids race stay sick out there. Let them have it. Yeah, this is a pirate race. Exactly. Kid from race number one, I think he said his name was Maddie. I could be way wrong. Is currently leading. We got green flags out there from our newly engaged flag man, Robert Lawrence. Thank you for sharing that moment with Flat Out Friday here.
Boys fans, while the last kid is making his victory lap, break some noise, Portland, for our kids' portion of our show. Up next, we have our late for church race or our relay race. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to have four teams doing three laps each, and the first one to 12 laps wins. However, there is a catch. Every three laps, you're going to rotate a rider, and that said rider is going to change costumes. Yes, they're going to rotate costumes and change drivers, and I believe we've got some word. There is a missing rider. Um, so, Micah, Michael, you're just sitting there. You're just sitting there. Yeah, Micah. it's comfy. It's Micah, nice here. Get out. I'm not going to say the other word. You want me to say it, but I need you to get your butt up and I need you to go race. Warren needs you. So Warren, where are you? Is Warren there? Where's Warren? Oh, he's getting uniforms. Micah, I gotta come over and get you there myself? Micah, Micah, get up. Chatty, Do I it. look like a dilly bar. I am not meant for racing in but, any uh, stretch of the Portland, imagination. Portland, Oregon, do you wanna see Micah race on this relay race? Well, some of them wanted to see it, Micah. I kind of want to see it. You kind of just do it. Come All on. right, if that's what you want, yeah, I'll do it. I'm not scared Make of anything. Make some noise, Final Friday, for Micah. He's getting up out from behind the desk. Once again, here are the rules. We have four teams, or even three, I don't know. That's about my pay grade. But they are going to do three laps each. And in between each three laps, they're going to rotate a rider and they're going to change costumes. The first team to 12 laps wins. So I believe, see, yo, there's already some funky stuff happening. Y'all don't want to see that. Micah, come here. Micah, what have you gotten yourself into? I didn't do anything. You made me do this. You had them cheer. So I was sitting down drinking water and now you have me in some race I don't know what I'm doing in. Yeah, so you're going to have to change costumes. And What's wrong with this kid? This is... Run, that is the embodiment of fashion, Micah, believe me, or this... something like that. Chatty Maddie, I'm making you race next year for this one. Just know. You hold me to it. Let's shake on it. You hold me to it. But All Micah, right. today you're going to race it. You're going to go three laps around the track, and when it's your turn, you're going to strip, not really, but then go into your costume um, and race on your team. Two laps, I'm being told by our amazing flag person. He just got engaged. He did. Way to go. It's very, very fashionable to look. That's like our second one of these things. That's awesome. I don't even know what's Flat Out Friday is the epitome of love, Chatty Maddie. Don't you know? And a little bit of Brian's favorite words, tentative. It's <laughs> it is subject to change. Well, let's head on down. Let's take a green flag on this race. Well, we ran a brief intermission race, fans. If you have not been able to, to go grab some of our new Flat Out Friday, the One Mono Show merch, pick your favorite team. This is the relay race here at Flat Out Friday. This is the gas, gas relay race here at Flat Out Friday with the One Mono Show in Portland, Oregon. That's a good time. I lost my helmet. It's okay.
Chatty, what's happening out here? So, I think they're on their last rider. What number were you? I was second. We're in last place. That's that trash. Well, because you took another lap. No, I took two, maybe. I don't know. I think they're on the last one. They're pointing. If you're in the lead, go to the line so we know. Look at the guy in first place. He looks like he smokes cigarettes, for sure. <laughs> well, he's got a cape and a vest on. Look at that guy looks like a Newport. Somebody's gonna tell me. I think that team's gonna win it. He's and taking the checkered. Somebody tell me if he won. Not bad. Not too shabby. Oh, we got a race for the last place. Excellent work. We thrive in a tad bit of chaos. Who's the winner? Pick one, your favorite. There we go. I'm assuming that's him. Portland, make some noise. Class. The winner of your relay race. Wow, shout out to my DJ. DJ Kevin, keeping the halftime party going. That, that was fun. Relay races are a good time, Chatty. That was a good idea. Way to go. I think we got the winner here, Micah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I know you. We got the winner of our relay race here at Flat Out Friday, Portland. What a unique experience. What is it like changing? with 30 plus people around you? Uh, well, I, I don't change my underwear often, so <laughs> it was a pretty quick change over there, but couldn't ask for a better team. I found all these guys outside in the beer garden. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I just want to, I want to say uh, thanks to the team, you know, because I, I brought it home. But yeah, Dan, Nick, and Jason, you know, they, they had to make a few passes, so it was pretty fun, but I don't know, I want to, I want to say thanks to uh, Flat Out Friday crew because uh, let's put your hands together for the whole crew coming out here and uh, bringing all this stuff in here. I mean, it's uh, one big hand truck had to bring all this stuff out and there's uh, just a handful of people taking it out. So thanks for having us out. It's all about good fun uh, here at uh, Flat Out Friday. So good times. Well, congratulations. One more time, Portland, Oregon, for the winner of your relay race. Still have no idea who won. We've got Mains up next, Micah. Let's take it back. Thank you so much, Chatty Maddie. You are absolutely correct. All we have left is main event racing for the rest of the evening. You don't want to go anywhere. Again, please do get on social media. Tell your friends we're on YouTube. Like, subscribe. Leave a funny comment. Say you're offended. I don't care. We just want to have you interact with us here at Flat Out Friday. This is what we do for fun. Everybody works 40 hours a week just like you, and this is how we like to let off our steam. Short track, flat track racing. We are going to get some more things in line. We're going to pay some bills. Check out these commercials. We'll be with you after this. From what I understand, it is now time to give out some t-shirts. Who wants some free t-shirts? Yell at the people on the infield. They're giving stuff away. That's a great idea. Yeah, boo them. That's fine. Boo them at the infield. We don't care. If you want something for free, scream at whoever has that awesome t-shirt cannon. Backyard made, that's for sure. We're trying to figure out, does anybody know how to read PSI? Nobody does. All right, well, we broke it. It's now time. I'm going to give away 
I believe it's one of those motorcycles we were just racing at halftime, is that correct? We're giving away the gas, gas motorcycle. If you are a pre-registered rider, you are given one of these tickets. If you want to get that ticket out, I'm going to pick the winner of that awesome gas, gas e-bicycle motorcycle thingy. And the winner for all of our pre-registered riders is going to be this one right here. Number 064024. You are the winner. Whoever you are, I don't know who to contact. I don't know who you should talk to. Is she here? I was, I was told we have a winner. 064042. Why are you asking strangers about it? Is that it? 024. 024. Who's got it? There's like three people with it. Let me see. That is right. You are our winner. Congratulations. Um, I don't have the bicycle, but what I do have is liquid death. Congratulations. Come find me later, and you have won that amazing gas, gas bicycle, I believe. Congratulations to you. We're very happy for you. Now you're hydrated. That works perfect for me. Shout out to my DJ, DJ Kevin, making all the beautiful music happening inside this awesome Expo Center. Again, we want to see you racing here next year. No excuses. Get on a boonie bike, get on an open class, build something, and be part of this amazing, amazing event. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Nothing but mains coming up next. We got to get a little bit more paperwork done. Check out these commercials. Be with you right after this. If you want to disconnect and detach from work and, and all of the other stressors that life throws at you, once you get out there, everything tends to fall away. We fight for the rights of riders every day. We give back millions to support the motorcycle community because we are riders, and motorcycle law is all we do. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, don't fight the insurance companies with just any lawyer. Call 1-800-4-BIKERS. We ride, we care, we win. If you go down, call Russ Brown. Motorcycle attorneys.
I mean, crazy thing about Super Hooligan is like it's evolution. Let's race these hand-built motorcycles. They don't have fairings and they go 150 mile an hour. When it comes to racing, there's always this thing inside you that pushes you. And some people have it and some people don't. And when you have it, there's just like a hand in the middle of your back pushing you faster and faster and harder and harder. It's forever pushing you. It's just something you're chasing all the time. It's a gladiator sport. It's that mentality. You don't need to be a supporter of those bad decisions. It's easy to start it. It's time, Flat Out Friday! It is time to party with the main events of the evening, starting with our Mad Dog class. You heard it right. We're going to go right to it. This is where the trophies, the glory, the party is given away, and it all starts right now. These are our main events of the evening. All of the qualifying, all of the heat races, circumvent to right now. Look at that Rainier jersey. That is beautiful. Mad Dog class is gonna get us started. Montana, Oregon, Washington, California, all represented right here. They're on the line, let's get to racing. Wow, what a start. And we got a human being down, right back on the bike, wasting no time. currently in first place, followed by the sweet Rainier jersey. Dallas Sater from Vancouver, Washington is leading the Mad Dog class. Just roaching. not seeming to be an issue here at the Mad Dog Final. 11 entries on the course. Dallas Sather with a commanding lead, another human being down. Looks to be Austin Michael from Tacoma, Washington. We've got two laps remaining. White flag is out. And Robert Lawrence with the checkered flag says we got a winner. Whoa, barely getting out of the way. Holy cats. How about some noise for our first main event of the evening? Talis Sather from Vancouver, Washington. You are the first winner of Flat Out Friday here in Portland, Oregon, alongside the One Motorcycle Show. What a race. The start was as sketchy as I've ever seen. That was phenomenal. Our next main event of the evening. We're getting them lined up as we speak. That was some fine racing to get us started off the bat. I'm not upset at that one bit. Again, congratulations. Talis Sather, Vancouver, Washington, our winner of the Mad Dog, 11 entries in that class. Taking home the win. Up next, our next main event of the evening, the 50cc class. These kids are hungry. These kids want to win. They need a trophy for show and tell. It's important. Shout out to my DJ. DJ Kevin just making moves out there on the infield. Number four is cheating. I appreciate that. He's fine. Just leave. He's fine. Look at the commitment to our track crew. 
grabbing him by the crossbar. <laughs> Just let her cheat. It's fine. Let them cheat. They're kids. They're kids. Watch the light. When the light goes, you go. And they're off. The kid that's cheating currently in first place. Already hitting the rev limiter on that two-stroke motorcycle. That's awesome. 50 cc's are out there. Robert Lawrence with a torn Achilles heel. Still out there. Still being the best flag man he can be. Make some noise for first place as he rounds your section. Yeah, pinning it down the back stretch. There you go. Look at that form. Elbow is up. Boot to the ground. Looking through the corner. This kid's got all the right answers. He's got a white flag is what he's got. Biggest race of his life in front of thousands of spectators here at the Expo Center. How about some noise for our winner? Here he is. Right there, number seven. Taking the win in our 50cc class. That is awesome. He will never forget this day for the rest of his life. And now he gets to be Scared of Chatty Maddie. Chatty, if you can possibly get that young whippersnapper for an interview, nope, he's leaving. He wants nothing to do with you. Chatty, give me your opinion on that race. Tell me what you thought. You know, these kids are, like we said, they're the future of Flat Out Friday and flat track racing all over the nation. It's just excellent to see these riders out here putting their elbows up and getting in the game, Micah. Absolutely, Chatty Maddie. Next time I need you to chase that kid down and make sure we get an interview. That's that's important. I'll try to help. Let's go with our next class, the 50 plus seniors. Heck yeah. The men have descended onto Flat Out Friday and the class is 50 plus seniors. You're sitting in the stands drinking beer. Let's give it up for these guys. They've got 401ks to worry about. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is awesome. And they're off. The start has happened. Mari Austin from Los Gatos, California, currently in first place. Starting a commanding lead. Oh, boy. Michael tearing it up in the 50 plus senior race. Nice looking lines. Pointing that front end where it needs to be and then hammering that throttle on a straightaway. winner looking like he's on a Sunday cruise just another day on the motorcycle for Austin Michael white flag is out Plus, make some noise, Portland, Oregon. Another class has been stamped with an exclamation point, and it is by this man, number 57, 
all the way from Los Gatos, California, not wanting to be interviewed. It's fine. It's fine. I had questions. Did he have answers? Our next class is going to be our electric class. Again, the future of racing resides in this class. We just want to represent everything we possibly can. Every motorcycle is cool. Our friends at Billwell want to remind you, all motorcycles are adventure bikes if you use them for adventure, and I think that fits perfectly. That one bike has a luggage rack on it, and it's racing in a professional setting. How does that happen? Big shout out to Icon, thank you for that relay race. Gas Gas provided four electric bicycles. That was a good time. Big shout out to our friends at So So Cycles, three locations, Tacoma, San Francisco, Concord, California. I guess that's our start, works for me, the green flag is out. Our very injured flag man, Robert Lawrence, says, let him race. Oh, I heard a human go down. Clayton Williams of Springfield, Oregon, currently in the lead. A commanding lead at that. I apologize, that's Neil Allen from Pasco, Washington. Go by his jersey, not the number on his motorcycle. That's what I was just told. Neil Allen currently on course. Winning by a lot. Whoa! The track giveth, the track taketh away. The electric class saying a couple laps left. White flag is out here in our electric class. Neil Allen, Pasco, Washington. Way far ahead. Whoa! Getting a little exciting out of that turn number two. Around three and four. And our winner. Again, nothing but main events are left. Come on out and hang out. Our winner, Neil Allen, going back to drink a couple of cervezas and celebrate his win here this evening. Open women will be our next class. Open women, ladies. No excuses, you can get out there and race. Some brave individuals ready to test themselves on this track. Here at the Portland, Oregon Expo Center, McKenna Hyatt, Morgan Piler, Nian Castella, Haley Germain, Jenna Forstum, that is our racers today. Washington, Wisconsin, Oregon, and Washington represented here in our open women feature. Morgan need a little bit of help with that motorcycle. It is. Oh, could you imagine the nerves? Motorcycle not starting. There you go. That a girl. Knowing how to drop a clutch and start a motorcycle on the run is our friend Morgan all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A staple at Flat Out Friday. Down the line and they're off. 
Morgan battling for the lead. McKenna Hyatt currently up in first place. But she's got a bunch of drama at her rear wheel by the name of Morgan. Morgan's gonna size her up, wait for a mistake. McKenna saying, not a chance here, sweetheart. We're gonna keep it absolute to the wall. That motorcycle pinned around every corner. Excellent style. Lean in that motorcycle as far over as possible. McKenna from Marysville, Washington. Big shout out to Haley out there shredding the course. A little bit of a lead now from McKenna. remaining our flag man getting those flags ready two laps left two laps left McKenna way out in front now Morgan doing everything she can to reel her in but she is just strong with the discipline one lap to go lap traffic could become an issue going way on the outside three wide now giving Morgan a chance to sneak back in there will she stick the front tire in one corner remaining, and our winner, McKenna Hyatt from Marysville, Washington, taking the win. She is stoked. Portland, make a little bit of noise for the strong females out there, willing to race, risk it all, and have fun here at Flat Out Friday. Down on the course, is our winner and next to her with a microphone is of course the legendary chatty maddie there you go get that helmet off chatty can you get a few words with our winner please yeah absolutely portland make some noise for McKenna hyatt that last lap yeah you saw the whites and then you saw lap traffic your heart must have just been racing because you had you had Morgan right on your tail. Oh yeah, I could hear Morgan right behind me and just kind of trying to find a good line working through people, but it worked out and stoked to be here. The crowd's great, so yeah, I'm stoked. And you're here in Flat Out Friday, Portland, Oregon. What do you want to tell the women that want to get into motorcycle racing? What advice do you have for them? Oh, just go out and do it. Like they're, the community here is so great. Like somebody's going to help you out and just reach out and get out here. Well, congratulations, Portland, one more time for McKenna Hyatt. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for our female winner of the Open class. That was great. We're going to take a quick break for this commercial, then back to Maine's right after this. My name is Jeremy Prock. I'm with Mama Tried and Flat Out Friday. In Milwaukee, wow, what a good looking crowd. You look great. Thank you so much for coming out to this event. If you'd like to be in the know, please subscribe to our podcast, our Mama Tried Flat Out Friday podcast. Pull out your phones and scan this thing. It is back to main event racing here at Flat Out Friday in beautiful Portland, Oregon part of the One Motorcycle Show. Up next, some more of them children. 65cc, 85cc youth class. Let's make some noise for the kids as they come out here, racing the biggest race of their entire existences. Big shout out to Russ Brown Motorcycle Attorneys, the original lawyers that ride the top motorcycle accident team in the country. These guys are tough experienced, and they'll have your back. If you're injured on a motorcycle, 
Don't fight the insurance companies alone. Call 1-800-4-BIKERS for free legal advice. If you go down, call Russ Brown. They're on the mark, watching the lights, and we've got racing. 65cc, 85cc, Carter Olmstead, Jake Wheaton, Sawyer Storrs, and Letty Crawford. Oh, we got a pass happening. Sticking the front tire on the inside. Carter Olmstead getting around Jake Wheaton. Oregon versus Washington is happening in front of your very eyes. Oh, the DJ is killing it out there. 65 CC, 85 CC happening. This is our main event of the evening for this class. Getting a little bit of a lead is Carter Olmstead. Jake Wheaton tasted the victory off the hole shot. Oh, taking a look over his shoulder. He feels the breathing. One lap remaining. We got lap traffic, all hands on deck. Jake Wheaton is right behind him. Carter Olmstead taking a press. We've got a winner in 65 to 85. It is number 17, Carter Olmstead beating racers twice his size but not scared at all of anything is this young man taking off the goggles. Can I get some noise for this young man from Escada, Oregon? Chatty Maddie, once he gets that helmet off, can you ask him a whole bunch of very, very personal questions and see how he reacts? Absolutely, Portland, make some noise. He's taking his helmet off for Carter Holmstead. Hey, I feel like we've talked before. We've done this before, right? Now, yeah, you were scared the first time. This is a natural thing for you. You can't be scared at all of this. You just won your feature here at Portland, Oregon. How does that feel? Feels good. Now it feels good? You want to thank your mom and dad again? Yeah. Anybody else? What's your big dream? What would be the place you want to do after this? Give a shout out. Um, I want to thank all of my sponsors for helping me out. Absolutely. One more time. He's parked it here twice in Portland, Oregon. Carter Olmstead. This kid ain't scared no more. He is parking it in victory lane. Micah, back to you. Thank you, Chatty Maddie. Excellent work per usual. Up next, we've got a very, very deep class. It is the open amateur. We've got riders from Wisconsin, British Columbia, Oregon, Nevada. A couple of them from Milwaukee. That's cool to see. Kyle Ragsdale, Car Parnell, McKenna Hyatt racing with the boys, Alex Olmstead, Curtis McIntyre, Sam Villanueva, Henrique Zamperini doing it for Brazil, Brody Simmers, Brian Egan, Kenny Brown, and Jacob Holter. It is a full rack of racing here at Open Amateur. Just getting ourselves situated, getting all the riders lined up. This is gonna be one to remember. Remember, get on that social media, like, subscribe, share our YouTube page. We would greatly appreciate it. We wanna grow our following here at Flat Out Friday. The premier 
indoor motorcycle race promoters in all of the world call ourselves the heavyweight champions of bringing that fun. Riders on the line, watch the lights, here we go. We are racing. In the lead is number 35, Kyle Ragsdale. In second place, Alex Olmsted. He's got something to say, he's gonna reel him in. Whoa, but the battle is for third place. seen a flat on Friday show before. What's it like heading into turn number one on that star? You are making friends with each other, rubbing elbows with each other. Tell me, what's it like? Uh, it's kind of an adrenaline rush, but it's fun. I don't know, it's hard to explain, honestly. And what's it like to bring a win home here in Portland? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's the first time experience, and it's really cool. I look forward to coming back. Well, congratulations. Let's come back here, Portland. Make some noise for Carl Regstad. Man, Micah, back up to you. Chatty, give me one of those jerseys. I want a Rainier jersey. That is a fine Pilsner from this area. If you have not been paying attention all evening, this is the race to watch. It is the AA Pro Race. Money is on the line. Pro purse is happening. Our racers are as follows. Kenan Duncan, Scott Baker, Kale Mexner, Shelby Miller, Marty Fay, Damian Welty, Scooter Vernon, Dominic Cameron, Stacey Richmond, Ray Handy, Allen Kelsler, and TJ Welty. All Washington and Oregon racers. Double A Pro, this is the money happening right here. We're giving it away. Pay attention to this race, folks. You are gonna see the professionals here at Flat Out Friday do what they do best. And that is put on a show. Watching the light, here we go, we're going racing. Whoa! The start is everything. Our dash for cash winner is out front currently.
Antonio. Battle for second place. There was somebody overtaking. the entire race tried to stick that front tire where it doesn't belong what an amazing race from that man but our winner winning the dash for cash and the final number 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 our winner number 44 what an amazing race wow he won the dash for cash he then held off the hard charging scott baker chatty maddie there's going to be a smile under that helmet you're not going to believe oh he my gosh ken duncan at the line i need some water somebody get him a liquid death <laughs> at the line oh man at the line that was good Scott was on the move, I could hear him. That was a badass race, I'm super pumped. At the line, Scott Baker, there it is. Crack that baby open, spray that thing like you just won the race at Portland. Wow, Scott Baker, you and him going back and forth the entire race. Lap traffic was a gig. Yeah. How did you weave through that effortlessly? Uh, very carefully, I just seen my spots and had to stick them when I could, and I knew he was right there. And then you knew that he was right there leading into that white flag. And you, you saw him. You were eye and eye at that at the line there. What, what were you thinking? For sure. I, I thought for sure. I didn't, couldn't tell if it was me or him, but that was, that was a badass race. I love it. And anybody you want to thank here from Portland? Uh, I want to thank all you guys for putting this race on. Badass. I love it. My dad for coming out here. My mom at home. My girlfriend, uh, Barry Russell. Uh, Travis with Savage Customs. And all you fans out here, thank you. In jaw-dropping fashion, Portland makes some noise for Kenan Duncan. Micah, if you wanted action, you got it here at Flat Out Friday Portland. That was an absolutely amazing race. That was for the money. Don't go anywhere. We've got quite a bit of racing left for you, some things you've never seen before. We've got some money from Open Hooligan. We're going to get the next race set up. While we do that, check out these sponsor commercials.
At Indian Motorcycle, we challenge ourselves every day to live up to the trailblazing spirit of our founders. We're proud to share our passion with others as we realize we're all part of something bigger. We're here to inspire the next generation of riders. If you're on two wheels, you're with us. Our best days are still ahead. Indian Motorcycle, make the first move. Hey guys, what's up? Jared Mees here, Indian Motorcycle Flat Track Champion. Just wanted to thank you all for coming out to the Flat Out Friday and hope you all have a good time. Up next, taking a little breather before our next money class in the hooligan is going to be the Adorables. How about some noise for the Stasic main event of the evening? Let them hear you. Portland, Oregon. All the bragging rights. Possibly extra dessert for dinner. Happening right here. If someone could tell them where to line up, that'd probably be very helpful to get this started. I just want to go ride two player, I understand. There you go, Robert Lawrence. Help him out, help him out. Up, 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 stop. Perfect. Here we go. Our Stasic main event of the evening is happening. What do you guys say? Do you want to see the kids race? Can I get a little bit of energy for these tykes? Let's get them racing. Watch the light and they're off. They are handlebar to handlebar going down the back stretch. Yeah. Oh, we got a pass for the lead on turn three and four, but coming back down the stretch. Getting so close to that rear tire. Elbow out, head down, looking through the corner, checking behind to make sure dad's getting pictures for his Instagram. The white flag is out, one lap to go. How about some noisy rounds? Turn three and number four. Here comes the winner. of our Stasic race. And our next race, you can hear the rumble of the engines. It is our next paying class. Ladies and gentlemen, the working man's class, the people with full-time jobs that just go on the weekends because they love this adrenaline rush. It is the hooligan class. Open hooligan, money on the line. 
But let's give some t-shirts away. Does anybody like free stuff? We're getting them lined up. Jacob Holter, Tony Alves, Jake Woodruff, Neil Allen, Henrik Zarempi, Kenneth Wheaton, Joseph Beavers, Mike Schroeder, Daniel Ito, Kyle Ragsdale, Patrick Zeigel, and Joseph Stowers. You are our main event of the evening. Money on the line, this is a big deal. Watched by thousands on YouTube as we speak. They are lined up, watching the light. San Jose, California. Oh! Lab traffic is going to be a difference maker. Jacob Holter from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hot on his heels. turn of events yeah you kind of got a point to say a little something they're gonna talk Tony Alves definitely stuck his front tire into Jacob Holder who was in first place if only we had a microphone between those two they sportsmanship is cool can I get some noise for that amazing last corner pass Tony Alves taking the win Jacob Holder was in first place we're going to let the judges take it out if there's one thing I know. You never know what happens. Holy cow. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment to sort all this mess out.
want to disconnect and detach from work and, and all of the other stressors that life throws at you, once you get out there, everything tends to fall away. We fight for the rights of riders every day. We give back millions to support the motorcycle community because we are riders, and motorcycle law is all we do. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, don't fight the insurance companies with just any lawyer. Call 1-800-4-BIKERS. We ride, we care, we win. If you go down, call Russ Brown. Motorcycle attorneys. Welcome back, everybody. We have a special treat for you this evening by the means of some stunting. It's the Icon Stunt Show. Fabulous riders. We got sport bikes. We've got cruisers, more importantly. We've got stunts. Make some noise as your favorite rider rides by you in those beautiful Icon jerseys. Candy bar wheelies, tank wheelies, seat standers, all the sweet dude tricks you can handle by the Icon stunt team. Ooh, a heel clicker. Listen to that V-twin purr. Shout out my DJ, DJ Kevin. Let me hear you scream! Who's having a good time out there? Let them hear you, the Icon Stunt Team. Putting out work for you. Looking good. Yeah, riding backwards on the whip. That's new. Why, that's absurd. Are you an F-150? Do you have a backup cam in that helmet? I have so many questions. Oh, now doing push-ups for the ladies. All right. Man down, man down. We've got three races left this evening. You don't want to go anywhere. Whoa! Go ghost ride the whip. Now we're talking. The Sportster gets put away. And now we grab a bagger. That is absolutely appropriate at a time like this. Make some noise for this psychopath, yeah! Taking your grandpa's bagger and putting it to 12 o'clock, the Icon Stunt Team. 
making the unthinkable reality. Yo! Circle wheelie by the sport bike guy. Bagger fella, some sort of knack knack starter, putting that thing way to the moon. Dragging that fender. Bagger goes away, sports are back in the mix. Candy bar, side saddle, wheelie from the Icon homie. Team, can you send a little bit of energy their way? Circle wheelies, Sportster and Sport Bike in harmony. Wicked tight circles. From the Icon support team. doing this stuff on your city streets. Closed chorus, professionals only, blah, blah, blah. You know the game. Thank you, Icon Stunt Team, for coming out and shredding this course. It's my favorite class time. I cannot wait. You saw the money go out for AA Pro. You saw the money go out for Hooligan. Well, now it's time for the guys that probably can't pass a sobriety test. It's the Booty Bike Challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The best class in all of Flat Out Friday. 12 inch wheels, must be a pull start. The least amount of suspension possible or you'll get made fun of publicly. That is the next class you're gonna see out here. When the majority of your motorcycle comes from Harbor Freight and Amazon, you know it's a class you probably want to watch. That's what's up next, the Booney Bikes. We're gonna take a little bit of track prep not that it matters, but we do it for aesthetics anyway. AMA guy putting his two cents in. Yeah, there was a drop there. Perfect. Booney bikes are up next. Check out Stout Booney if you want to get into this racing class. We'd love to have you. Rivet revealing their new first here at the One Show and Flat Out Friday. The Outset, eMono. Check out Rivet.com to learn about their EV offerings. USA built and designed. If you're going to get an electric vehicle, please check out Riven. We'd appreciate it. Let's do it. It's booty bike class. Heck yeah. This is the people's class. These are the criminals. You'll probably see an ankle bracelet out there. These are the ruffians. No judgment, only fun. If you want to get into Flat Out Friday racing, this is what we suggest you do. Get yourself one of these booty bikes, build it from scratch, 
or call Stout Booney. You're ready to go. Here we go racing. In the lead from West Dallas, it is Mikey Dean. I watched him JB weld his hooligan tank in his hotel last night. Now he is leading the Booney bikes. Mikey Dean. In fact, he built a beautiful, beautiful custom booty bike. He didn't have it ready. He had to borrow this one. And he's out in the lead, wiping the floor for the booty bike class. Getting the power where it needs to be. This is awesome. and they threw a booty bike at me. What is going on here? Two laps left, two laps left. We'll see if the man from West Dallas, Wisconsin can keep it together. The white flag is out. Get it, Mikey! From white to checkers, Mikey Dean! All the way from West Dallas, Wisconsin. Over 30 hours in a Dodge Ram pickup truck. And he takes home your win. Way to go, Mikey Dean. The log is proud of you today, sir. How cool is that? He built a brand new hooligan motorcycle. He'd never raced it before. He said he didn't have any sort of pickup on the back stretch. He didn't make the mains, but he takes home a win here in Portland. And that's for the booty bikes. That's pretty cool. And now our vintage class. Rick Ellis, Corey Churchill, George Chamorro, James Williams, Keddy Brown, Corey Dynamite, and Talis Sather, Oregon, Montana, British Columbia, and Washington, you are represented here in our vintage class. We've got two races remaining, this and one left. You don't want to go anywhere. Wait till you see the secrets we have for our final race of the evening. Vintage class is up, and they're racing. It is Rick Ellis out to the lead. Rick Ellis making fast work of this race. from Canby, Oregon, taking home the win. Oh my goodness, Chatty Maddie, do you have your ears on down there? Can you hear me? 
Micah, what the heck is up next? Are you having a good time out on the floor? How is the vibe? Oh, absolutely no. I'm having a great time here tonight, Portland. Who else here is having a good time tonight? Yeah, some of y'all are. I love it. It's going to be a great night here. Thank you all so much for joining us out here at Portland, Oregon. Micah, are you having a good time? I'm having a really good time. And this is the exclamation point chatty Maddie on our evening. It's all about having fun. I'd like to remind everybody, please get to our social media channels, get to our YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, just spam us with comments. I don't care. We want to get you involved in Flat Out Friday. But here's where you go viral. Get out your social media phones. We're going to play some real life Mario Kart here for our goofball class. That's right. Racing is inherently boring. It's a bunch of jocks that care. We at Flat Out Friday are into the artistic part of racing, and that is the goofball class. Don't take yourself so serious. You're only going to die. You might as well enjoy your time while you can. And that is what goofball is all about. Chatty Maddie, what do you see on the line down there? I see literally everything but a human. I see a pig, I see Mario, I see Luigi. I don't even know what half these things are. But man, everything's legal if you're a goofball. Yeah, no rules. Just a couple of laps and fun. Portland, Oregon, can I get a little bit of noise? Here comes the goofball class. Yeah. We got some balloons for Mario Kart. We got a four-wheeler out there. Oh, my goodness. Whoa! We got three-wheel motion. We got bananas hanging off the back. Whoa! A guy on a... Is that a gold wing out there? What is, what is that bagger out there? Your grandpa's gold wing. Oh, we got a red turtle shell. Boom, he's exploded. Wow! Four wide! Not over here! Not over here! <laughs> that was awesome! He threw a turtle at him! That was beautiful! The race is happening! The red shell is taken up! Everything's fine! It's the goofball race! Wow! <laughs> Not bad, Chatty Matty. The checkered flag is out. Ladies and gentlemen, make a little bit of noise. Oh. Give it up for the awesome goofball class here at Flat Out Friday. It is what we are all about, having fun, not taking yourself so seriously, and enjoying yourself. You guys have been amazing. Oh, what a good time. You guys are crazy good. Thank you for sticking around the entire time. Chatty Maddie, I'd like to get your thoughts on the first ever Flat Out Friday here in Portland, Oregon. Wow, what a time here at Portland, man. Thank you all so much for coming here tonight at Flat Out Friday here in Portland, Oregon in the Portland Expo Center. And thank you to everybody who is watching on the YouTube live stream. Micah, thank you so much for being my partner in crime tonight. I had a blast. Chatty, it is always a pleasure working with you. I'd like to remind you one more time, please everybody get to our social media channels. The only way we can keep this race series going is with your help. Please like, subscribe, share the videos. This will be on YouTube. Get out there and tell people you saw the coolest racing program ever here at Flat Out Friday. Thank you so much to the One Motorcycle Show. We're gonna be there all day tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. From DJ Kevin and Chatty Maddie on the floor, we'd like to thank Jeremy, Scott Warren, and Heather Brock for making all this happen. Thank you, Brian, from Geared Science for what you do. Please buy some merchandise, support those supporting you, and we'll see you next time. Get on the track. We want to see you racing here at Flat Out Friday. Be safe. Drive home very safe, everybody. Thank you for your time. Good night.